Well, how are you doing? <coughs> Hopefully the sound is okay um, on this video. Okay, this is going to be a quick demonstration video. <coughs> uh, over the years, obviously, there's a lot of talk about how people on the opposition side say, oh, the sun could never set over a flat plane and uh, all this other rubbish. <coughs> you know, um, obviously, uh, we know that the sun is not going down behind a physical geometric horizon. Um, so this is going to be a demonstration video uh, showing how um, something can hold the same altitude and can set, basically. Right? So the sun doesn't need to go down to anything. It only needs to appear to do so. Okay, <clears throat> this is from the uh, Arctic sun, uh, the Arctic summer sun. Um, this is the midnight sun, so this would be like 6 in the evening around here or here. And when it gets to midnight, midnight the sun is here, that's its angle above the horizon. So it's moved away and that's all it's done. And its angle above the horizon has changed. So you can see like the angle above the horizon each time changes. It gets tighter and tighter. And then it, obviously after midnight we're coming back to 6 uh, in the morning. Sorry, it'll be 6, eight, six in the evening to 6 in the morning. You can see that it's coming back again or whatever. Um, so uh, as the sun moves away, the angle gets tighter. As it comes closer, the angle widens and opens up. Here is, this is not the best image because I think uh, it wasn't a high definition image, but I just filtered it so you can get the gist of it. So same thing happening here, the sun time lapse, it's an older time lapse, but it's just, uh, it's a good one. Because uh, it shows basically the sun just moving in a straight line towards the horizon. Well, really all it's doing is, is these are all angles, aren't they? You know, between the sun and the horizon. Um, <clears throat> here's another one from the Arctic sun, or the Arctic summer, uh, midnight sun. So the sun appears to come towards you and get higher in the sky, and it appears to go away from you and get lower in the sky. And then, you know, it's, that's all it's doing. So it's like making a, like a V in the sky. It comes from the horizon over here, goes up, where it appears to you to come towards you in a, uh, and make, uh, come towards you and get higher, then it appears to go away from you and get lower. And that's basically what it's doing. It is, uh, com uh, it is appearing to get higher as it comes towards you and appearing to get lower as it goes away from you. That's what it is appearing to do. But it, it's not uh, changing its altitude above the surface of the earth. Um, obviously the claim from our opposition side is, for centuries has been that the, the, the earth is a globe and it rotates and that's why the sun will drop towards the horizon. So they're actually saying that the sun is actually dropping towards the horizon or actually rising from the horizon as opposed to the sun appearing to rise and appearing to drop. So <clears throat> Here is a quick demonstration. So here is the sun, right here. Hopefully this is visible enough. This is the observer, let's just say, right? And the sun is at their 90, right? Now, as the sun moves away from them, it gets just this far away, it's 63 degrees. But for the observer, see, this is only an orthographic view, so it doesn't show the perspective. It only shows it all in order graphic, but this will do for what I wanted to do, because it, it, this is kind of good in a way that it doesn't show the perspective. So at 63 degrees for the observer, the sun will appear to be closer to this, uh, closer to this green line. This is the let's say the green line is the earth, and the blue line is the sky, right? So the sun will appear to get closer to this green line. I'm just going to make this a little bit uh, bigger. Right, so you can see it. So one is so the blue line is the sky, and the green line is make sure this is like the line as well is <coughs> the, the earth. Right, so obviously, when the sun goes from 90 degrees to 63, you're going to 63 there, you're going to uh, visibly from this observer's point of view, this point here underneath the sun, which would be its GP and the sun, right, would appear to be closer. Because the observer's horizon, which is, they're only seeing maybe whatever distance out from here because of optics and different things. But to the observer, the, ob the sun has gotten closer to the horizon, to their horizon. But as you can see, 
there is no altitude change between the observer, uh, the observer's baseline and the sun's baseline. So the track of the Earth here, horizontal plane, and the track of the sky as another horizontal parallel plane. The two of them, uh, the two of them are the exact equal uh, distance apart. But as the sun moves, it appears to for the observer to get closer to the Earth. But it's not actually like where it's, that's not actually happening. What's actually happening is this: the angle is changing, but obviously we don't have the perspective here. Um, but if we did have the perspective, the uh, the sun would appear to be at 45 degrees. Would appear to be more down here. So sorry if that's uh, if there's at 45. Whatever are we uh, back to 45. So let's say this is 45 degrees. Uh, in if this was for, for the observer, the sun would appear to be here. At this point, so I'm just going to get a, a little point. I'm just going to put it there, right? Right, and I don't know what it is. So, and I'll color this orange as well. Sorry, color that orange, right? So that would be 45 degrees to the to the observer. That's where they would think they're seeing the sun above the horizon. Like it would be more closer to that, or maybe further down because of perspective. But as the sun moves away, now it's at 33.6 degrees, right? But yet it hasn't changed its, uh, it hasn't changed its uh, position, uh, altitude-wise, between the sky and the earth. So uh, if it keeps moving, go to here. Now it's at 15.9 degrees there. Now the altitude hasn't changed. Its attitude above the surface hasn't changed. But as far as the, cons the observer is concerned, this is now going into the position where if you are using a sextant or whatever to take the angle between the horizon and the sun, you would have to then account for um, the celestial refraction where the sun would appear to be higher in the sky than it, than, than it, would, be, than it would be presumed to be, right? So that would mean it's getting close to your horizon at 15.9 degrees, but that's our perspective. We don't have perspective with the graphic view, but this still shows it. If we keep moving the sun away and away further, now the sun is at 6.3 degrees. Now let's make it, bring this over a bit, and we keep moving it, so right out. Now it's at 3.69 degrees, right? Bring this over a bit. So it's only it's at three point six nine degrees, but it hasn't it hasn't changed its altitude above the surface. It has no need to change its altitude, and it keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Now it's at two point two nine degrees. Now I don't know what the sun is. No point in asking me in the comments what the sun is or how it does what it does. Don't make any claims about that. Just showing just showing a demonstration. So it keeps moving, holding the same track, one point seven degrees. So at this point. Like we're only, for the observer, <clears throat> as far as they're concerned, they're only seeing the top of the sun. If it's one, if the angle to the observer is 1.7 degrees, the sun is, appears to be going into the horizon at this point. But it's not. It's still holding the same altitude. It, like, it, orthographically here, it shows that it's still holding the same altitude. I'm just going to make it, give it as much chance as possible. So I want to make it so you can still see it, but also <clears throat> that it, I can get the point. So I keep moving, keep holding the track. The angle keeps going down and down and down and down. It's at 1 degree, 1.008 degrees. And keep moving it. It's at 0.8 degrees. Okay, I might have to move over the sun and come back to that. It's at 0.6. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do this. I'm going to move it right along and then go back and see the, the uh, angle. I'm going to move it right along to there. I don't know what, what it'll be, but it'll be close to zero. Right? 0.3 degrees. That's what it is at that point. So the sun is at 0.3 degrees, yet it hasn't changed its, al its altitude above the surface. It's held the same altitude above the surface, but it's at 0.35 degrees. So 
uh, basically at that point, we're just seeing light in the sky. We're not seeing the sun. We're just seeing light in the sky. Because as far as somebody is concerned, uh, an observer is concerned, that's basically at zero. So at this point, it's getting dark, basically. Where you are, it's starting to get dark. That's what's happening. So I'll just pull the sun back in. Not to spend too long on showing this. Pull the sun back in. Sorry now. Um, if I actually just show it. So if I bring this out. bigger and uh, I'll do one more of these just make it somewhat long pull the whole thing out now which will change the angle back there I don't know what height the sun is don't know any of that nonsense I just know that I don't know how it does what it does I just know that this is a demonstration that proves all those claims over the years, completely wrong. 0.27 degrees. So there you go, 0.27 degrees. I just, I don't have enough screen space to show it because it keeps getting smaller. Because if we zoom out, right, try and zoom out and show the whole thing. As you can see, those two lines are appearing to amalgamate. Now, that's how far away the sun has gotten from the observer and it's at 0.27 degrees which would be basically zero for an observer so as you can tell you know as you can tell is the idea that the sun uh, can't set cause oh and the, the sky and the earth can't be paralleled it's a lot of rubbish there it is it's only this far away it's at 1.99 degrees so look how it doesn't even have to go very far for it to go to almost to less than two degrees into here, so 3.97 degrees. 3.97 degrees, as far as you're concerned, the sun is the sun is basically set, you know, as far as you're concerned. And even if it's this far away, it's at 7.5 degrees. You know, so this it's all nonsense. This take this claim that the sun has to go down or up. It's not going down, it's not going up, it's holding the same track, it's doing what it's doing. Yeah, it's just getting further away, as we said. When it's all the way out there. You know, even when, watch, even when it gets to here, it's at 1.33 degrees. It's basically, you know, it's so, like, basically what you're looking at there is the last bit of light coming from the sun. Um, basically, the sun appears to be going into the horizon and uh, starting to get dark behind you. That's basically what's going on at this, this, this distance away. Let's just say whatever that is. So, this claim that the sun can't set or whatever over horizontal plane or that the, the claim that the sky and the earth can't be two horizontal planes uh it, that's a little rubbish look i don't know how the sun is at i don't know how the sky is or any other nonsense like that but there we go there's a there's a that's with their perspective showing you exactly how easy it is for the angles to change that and that's with their perspective with perspective the sun at this point would appear to be halfway or further into the horizon but it's not really it's just moved further away the sun is out so <clears throat> what's after doing is yeah it's after moving in sky miles yeah minutes of degree across this across the, they're sky miles minutes of degree see then that's sky miles a lot of people like to go on to me about that term sky miles that i used yeah there you go sky miles minutes of degree sky miles that are then converted into nautical miles along the surface that are then converted into statues. There you go.